Tonight, we're hearing from a local man who survived cancer but almost died from COVID-19. He and his brother were diagnosed at the same time. Now, after spending 75 days in the hospital, he is back home tonight. Pam Serrano is live at UPMC St. Margaret with this pretty incredible story tonight. Pam. Yeah, Kim, despite incredible odds, in fact, Fred Zock walked out of the doors here at UPMC St. Margaret Hospital today, and what a journey it has been. And he credits the medical staff here, his family, and also his faith for his miraculous recovery. Fred Zock is both amazed and grateful to be home, back beside his brother at their lower borough residence. Fred was so ill when he first arrived at St. Margaret nearly three months ago. By the time he got me to the emergency room, it took five people to carry me in. And then after that, my mind is a complete blank. Diagnosed with COVID-19, Fred says he was placed in a medically induced coma as his body battled the virus. They called my brother about the 14th day and they said they don't know if I'm going to make it. Fred's brother Ted was also diagnosed at the same time, but self-quarantined with only a dry cough, while his brother was going through hell for 75 days. Like when I come out of the coma, you know, it was kind of... I didn't know where I was, you know, like I had a feeding tube, you know, up my nose. Fred is a three-time cancer survivor devoted to his Catholic faith. He feels prayers to the Blessed Mother is the reason he survived. To tell that story about Mary and to most of all be kind, helpful, uh, even generous and, you know, positive to other people and do as much as I can in this world. And he knows he survived again to share more about his faith and gratitude for life. You go through this situation, it really opens your eyes and really shows you how, how precious, how sweet life is. Fred's journey at the hospital ended today, but his journey of life is still ahead. And by the time I left there, I was doing the polka with one of the girls. And Fred Zock is 69 years young and also the subject of an upcoming documentary about his medical journey, his passion for life, and of course, his faith. Live at UPMC St. Margaret tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.